Welcome to our exploration of Carl Jaspers, a pioneer of existentialism and a mind that ventured into the deepest recesses of human thought. Join us as we unravel the life, theories, and philosophy of a man whose work continues to inspire and challenge us. This is the story of Carl Jaspers, a philosopher who journeyed through the complexities of existence and embraced the profoundness of human freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, gather round as we embark on a journey through the fascinating world of Carl Jaspers, the pioneer of existentialism and human freedom. Imagine, if you will, a time in the early 20th century when Europe was grappling with the aftermath of two devastating world wars, and existentialism emerged as a profound philosophical movement. Our story begins with Carl Jaspers, a man whose life and ideas left an indelible mark on the world of philosophy. Picture him in the early 1900s, a time when Europe was in turmoil, and the existentialist movement was brewing in the intellectual cauldron of the continent. Carl Jaspers was not just a philosopher, but also a psychiatrist, and his unique combination of skills made him an extraordinary thinker. He was deeply concerned with the human condition and the dilemmas of existence. His journey into the world of existentialism began with his quest to understand the human experience in an age of uncertainty and anxiety. Now, let me transport you to a lecture hall in Heidelberg, Germany, where Jaspers, with his charismatic presence, is about to deliver a lecture that would shape the course of existentialism. He stood there, in his tweed jacket and spectacles, exuding a quiet intensity that would captivate his audience. Jaspers introduced a concept that would become central to existentialism, existence. He argued that we are beings who must confront our own existence, with all its limitations and uncertainties. He urged us to embrace our freedom and responsibility, to make authentic choices in the face of absurdity. But the story doesn't end there. In the years that followed, Jasper's ideas found their way into the works of existentialist giants like Jean-Paul Sartre and Albert Camus. The existentialist movement, with Jasper's as one of its pioneers, would go on to explore the depths of human existence and the pursuit of meaning in an absurd world. Carl Jasper's legacy is not only about philosophical concepts but also about a profound commitment to human freedom. He believed that, in spite of the chaos and uncertainty of the world, we have the power to shape our destinies and find meaning in our lives. Imagine traveling back to Heidelberg, where Jasper's taught and conducted his groundbreaking work. He wasn't just a philosopher but also a respected psychiatrist. One day, while working in a psychiatric hospital, Jaspers had a transformative experience that would shape his philosophical journey. Picture a young Jaspers in a dimly lit room, speaking to a patient who was suffering from severe delusions. Instead of dismissing the patient's experiences as mere pathology, Jaspers recognized the importance of understanding the patient's subjective world. He saw that delusions, while irrational, were a part of the patient's subjective reality. This experience led to Jaspers developing the concept of primary and secondary delusions. He distinguished between delusions that are rooted in a person's unique subjective experience and those that are shared in a broader social context. This marked a significant shift in psychiatric thinking, emphasizing the need to understand the patient's perspective. As Jaspers delved deeper into philosophy, he explored the nature of human communication. He believed that genuine communication could only occur when individuals engage in existential communication, where they reveal their innermost thoughts and feelings, transcending the barriers of social roles and conventions. In a world often plagued by shallow interactions, Jasper's emphasis on authentic communication remains a relevant and challenging idea. Now, let's journey to Jasper's exploration of the axial age. He introduced this concept to describe a pivotal period in history roughly between 800 and 200 BCE, when major intellectual and religious developments occurred in various civilizations. During this era, thinkers like Confucius, Buddha, and the ancient Greek philosophers emerged, laying the foundations for much of our modern philosophical and religious thought. Jaspers believed that during the Axial Age, humanity experienced a collective awakening, as individuals grappled with fundamental questions about existence, ethics, and the divine. His idea still captivates scholars and is a testament to his wide-ranging interests in philosophy and history. Karl Jaspers was born on February 23, 1883, in Oldenburg, Germany. He came from a family of physicians and displayed an early interest in philosophy. 
He studied medicine in his early years, and his interest in psychology and psychiatry would eventually lead to his pioneering work in psychopathology. After completing his medical studies, Jaspers pursued a career in psychiatry and became an assistant at the psychiatric clinic in Heidelberg, where he conducted research on understanding and diagnosing mental illnesses. This practical experience in psychiatry would greatly influence his later philosophical work, particularly in the area of understanding the human psyche. In 1910, Jaspers earned his medical doctorate with a dissertation on delusions and published a book, General Psychopathology, which remains a classic in the field. His work in psychopathology introduced innovative concepts like primary delusions and emphasized the importance of understanding the patient's subjective experience. Jasper's interest in philosophy also continued to grow, and he went on to study with renowned philosophers such as Wilhelm Dilthe and the Neo-Kantian philosopher Heinrich Rickert. He pursued a habilitation in philosophy, which marked his official entry into the world of academia. In the 1920s, Karl Jaspers became a professor of philosophy at Heidelberg University, a position he held for several years. It was during this time that he developed his existentialist philosophy, coining the term existence philosophy to describe his approach. He believed that philosophy should focus on the concrete, individual existence of the human being and the subjective experience of freedom and responsibility. During World War II, Jaspers faced significant challenges due to his refusal to align with the Nazi regime. His works were banned in Germany, and he was removed from his position at Heidelberg University. After the war, he was reinstated and continued his academic career. Jaspers' philosophical works include Psychology of Worldviews and Philosophical Faith and Revelation. He also explored the concept of the philosophical faith that underpins his existentialism. His ideas on existential communication, existential guilt, and the limits of rationality continue to influence contemporary philosophy. Karl Jaspers wrote numerous books throughout his career, covering a wide range of philosophical, psychiatric, and existential topics. Some of his most influential and notable books include Psychology of Worldviews, 1919. In this work, Jaspers explored the concept of Weltanschauung, which translates to worldview. He examined how individuals construct their worldviews and how these worldviews shape their understanding of reality and existence. General Psychopathology, Algemeine Psychopathology, 1913. This book is considered one of Jasper's most significant contributions to psychiatry and psychopathology. He introduced innovative ideas, including the distinction between understanding and explaining mental illnesses and the concept of primary delusions. It remains a foundational text in the field of psychiatry. Philosophy, 1932. In this book, Jaspers provided an overview of his philosophical approach and explored the relationship between philosophy, science, and psychology. He discussed the significance of philosophy as a way of addressing fundamental questions about human existence. The Perennial Scope of Philosophy, Die Geistige Situation der Zeit, 1933, Jaspers examined the intellectual climate of his time, addressing the challenges and opportunities for philosophy in the face of political and social upheaval. Reason and Existence, 1955. This book delves into Jasper's ideas on existentialism and the human experience. He discusses the tension between reason and existential freedom, emphasizing the importance of individual choice and responsibility. The Origin and Goal of History, Der Ursprung und das Ziel der Geschichte, 1949. In this work, Jaspers introduced the concept of the axial age, to describe a pivotal period in human history when major intellectual and religious developments occurred in various civilizations. He argued that this era laid the foundation for many philosophical and religious traditions. Truth and Symbol, Wahrheit und Symbol, 1947. Jaspers explored the nature of truth, symbolism, and language in this book. He examined how language can be both a tool for communication and a barrier to authentic understanding. Way to Wisdom an Introduction to Philosophy, 1951. In this accessible introduction to philosophy, Jaspers presented key philosophical concepts and ideas in a way that is approachable to a broad audience. Carl Jaspers had a multifaceted career, starting with his early life and education. Here's more information about his early life and career. 
Early Life and Education Birth and Family Karl Jaspers was born on February 23, 1883, in Oldenburg, Germany. He came from a family of physicians, and his father was a noted psychiatrist. His upbringing in a family with a medical background likely influenced his early interest in medicine and psychology. Medical Studies Jaspers began his higher education by studying medicine at the University of Heidelberg. During his medical studies, he became interested in the field of psychology and psychiatry, which would later shape his career. Psychiatry and Early Work After completing his medical studies, Jaspers started his career in psychiatry. He worked as an assistant at the psychiatric clinic at Heidelberg. It was during this time that he conducted research in psychopathology, a field that would lead to his groundbreaking work in understanding mental illnesses. Academic Career Habilitation in Philosophy Jaspers pursued his academic interests in philosophy alongside his medical career. He completed his habilitation in philosophy, which is a qualification required to teach at the university level. This marked his formal entry into the world of academia. Professor of Philosophy In 1921, Jaspers was appointed as a professor of philosophy at the University of Heidelberg, where he would make significant contributions to the field of existentialism and philosophy. His time at Heidelberg was marked by the development of his existentialist ideas. Nazi era and reinstatement. During World War II, Jaspers faced challenges due to his refusal to align with the Nazi regime. His works were banned in Germany, and he was removed from his position at Heidelberg University. However, after the war, he was reinstated and continued his academic career. Karl Jaspers' career was characterized by his dual roles as a philosopher and a psychiatrist. He made groundbreaking contributions to the field of psychopathology, introduced innovative concepts in philosophy, and played a crucial role in the development of existentialist thought. His ability to bridge the worlds of medicine and philosophy is a testament to his unique intellectual versatility and the enduring impact of his work in both fields. Karl Jaspers was a philosopher known for his distinctive ideas and contributions to existentialism, psychopathology, and epistemology. Here's a more in-depth look at his mind, theories, and philosophy. Philosophical Approach Existentialism Jaspers is often associated with existentialism, a philosophical movement that focuses on the individual's experience of existence, freedom, and choice. He believed that human existence is characterized by the constant struggle to confront the challenges and absurdities of life. Existentialism emphasizes individual freedom and personal responsibility. Existence philosophy. Jaspers coined the term, existence philosophy, to describe his own brand of existentialism. He emphasized the importance of, existence, the individual's unique existence and subjective experience. According to Jaspers, genuine philosophical inquiry should begin with an exploration of one's own existence. Key Philosophical Theories Communication Jaspers was interested in the idea of authentic communication. He argued that genuine communication occurs when individuals transcend social roles and conventions to reveal their innermost thoughts and emotions. Authentic communication, for Jaspers, was a path to understanding and self-realization. Philosophical faith. Jaspers introduced the concept of philosophical faith. He believed that genuine philosophy requires a degree of faith, as it grapples with fundamental questions that cannot be fully resolved through empirical evidence alone. Philosophical faith involves a commitment to pursuing truth and meaning despite inherent uncertainties. Limits of rationality. Jaspers recognized the inherent limits of rationality and empiricism. He argued that there are areas of human experience, such as existential questions and the realm of the transcendent, that cannot be fully comprehended through conventional scientific or logical methods. Psychopathology and Psychiatric Influence Psychopathology Jaspers made significant contributions to the field of psychopathology, particularly with his work in general psychopathology. He introduced the concept of primary delusions, and emphasized the importance of understanding the patient's subjective experience in psychiatry. Understanding the Psyche Jaspers believed that to truly understand mental illness, one had to delve into the subjective experiences of the individuals affected. He distinguished between understanding, verstehen, and explaining, erklären, psychiatric phenomena. 
Understanding, for Jaspers, required a deep appreciation of the individual's unique perspective. Phenomenology. Jasper's approach to psychopathology was influenced by phenomenology, a philosophical method that seeks to explore the structure of conscious experience. He applied phenomenological insights to his psychiatric work, emphasizing the importance of empathetic engagement with the patient's subjective reality. Carl Jasper's philosophy is marked by a deep concern for the human condition, the limits of human knowledge, and the pursuit of authenticity in communication and existence. His ideas on existentialism, philosophical faith, and the necessity of understanding the individual's subjective experience have had a lasting impact on philosophy, psychiatry, and psychology. Jasper's work continues to be studied and appreciated for its rich and complex insights into the complexities of human existence and thought. Thank you for joining us on this philosophical journey. We hope that the ideas and insights of Carl Jaspers will continue to inspire you on your own quest for meaning and understanding. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to keep exploring the profound world of philosophy. Until next time, keep seeking wisdom and embracing the beauty of the human experience.